Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Anjika, and this is officially the last month of the year, 2023. That is December, and it is a very, very, very special month for me because it's my birthday month. I'm born on 10th December 1997, so I'll be turning 26 this year. And today I'm going to share 25 lessons I've learned under 25. I thought maybe I can uh, do it like after 10th, so that it becomes like 26 lessons I've learned under 26. But I wanted to do um, uh, before turning 26, uh, and this is completely inspired by. by a few youtubers that is uh, kritika khurana and also prajakta koli she has also done something like that uh, like this like uh, 30 under 30 or something 30 lessons i've learned or 30 things i've done something like that so yeah i'm very very inspired i wanted to do this uh, for a long time finally it's december this 25 years is a long time guys um i feel i have grown so much um emotionally physically everything um so yeah it's been a long journey uh, 25 lessons is uh, really less i think i have lots to share uh, but yeah maybe every year i'll try to do this video so that i can share more but for now i have 25 lessons i have learned under 25 and let's get started so i have my book here uh, like my journal and i've written everything so let's get started with 25 things i have learned under 25 So the first thing being mediocre is absolutely okay. You don't need to be the best. You can be worse as well sometimes. So it's absolutely fine when I look back and I see I have always been a very mediocre person, a very mediocre student and I think it's fine. I have crossed 25 years already being mediocre and that is absolutely okay. Second, friendship breakups are part of your life. You will make new friends and it's very normal. You will break up with your old friends and make new ones because people just come and go in your life. It's very normal. If a friendship has to stay, it will always stay. third opinions or point of views change with time and it it means that you're growing and suppose you have said something in your school and if the person comes back to you after 20 years and say oh you said this it's now your point of view has changed and you are a different person so yeah point of views opinions always keep changing because it's a sign that you're much you're mature enough and also you're growing so yeah fourth little things matter yes it is the little things in life that really matter i personally think um like watching the sky or the birds clouds and uh, maybe a river um it's just uh, sometimes silence is something i enjoy um so yeah it's a little things um and also it's like enjoy what is there to enjoy and suffer what is there to suffer it's all part of your life and this is something i've learned from nichin dai shonan's buddhism which i practice so yeah Fifth point: Working out or any kind of physical activity is very, very, very important, guys. Um, like I am working from home, and I understood in the, these like two point five years of working from home that physical activity can actually change your mood. Like, uh, you know, the hormone that uh, the happy hormones it actually releases when you do any kind of activity is very important. And as you grow older, you're going to value that. And uh, please start early so that um, you know you don't face any kind of pain and anything like that. But it is also very good for your mental health. So yeah, going to a gym or running on a daily basis or uh, you know walking or um, maybe doing yoga so these are very important i have learned that <laughs> sixth point saying no is very important no means a no you don't need to force yourself to say yes all the time i know being a people pleaser um throughout my life it was really difficult for me to say no uh, at few places uh, but i've learned it the hard way but i'm telling you um, please 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 try to say no it's a practice uh, you cannot just one day say no i won't do this because you don't have the habit of saying no uh, so it's a practice but start saying no when you feel that no i cannot do this or no i don't want to do this Seven point. Don't expect people to understand you always. Your traumas, your pain is completely yours. It can be very similar, but it cannot be same. And if the person hasn't gone through the similar kind of pain or trauma, they will never understand. So don't expect people to understand you. Understand your problems. It is not possible. A. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. You know there is a constant battle of your heart and your brain. So listen to your heart first. Then think. try to come to a conclusion but believe in yourself that you have potential and listen to your heart nine respect each and every life it can be a person or an animal just respect them you know sometimes respect does not mean uh, that you know i have to obey that person or something like that obey by the rules and regulations it's not like that just to allow that person to say what they're saying respecting their opinion is very important and in general respecting animals is also important like if they don't want to come and sit on your lap it's fine just let them be like that they will eventually come to you if they like you so yeah then no one is happy all the time it was such a misconception for me i always believe i have have to be happy 24/7 it's not possible it's okay to be unhappy sometimes and let my feelings be like that for some time and eventually i'll come out of that so and be happy because happiness and sadness it's a part of life you can't be happy all the time you have to be sometimes sad and it will just pass number 11 
journaling helps you know writing down it really helps sometimes thinking like our thoughts when you put it down in words it helps you to understand more like maybe yourself maybe another person just writing down you can maintain a daily journal or don't just write down your thoughts whenever you're feeling anxious or the feeling you want to share something write it down and see what you're actually feeling um it just helps you to better understand yourself i believe it's it just work for me i've learned that i wanted to share 12 sunscreen is very important guys i always have emphasized this in my youtube channel in my instagram but it is really important and it will just help you to age slowly and you can just see the difference in the next 10 20 years but sunscreen is important the early you start you're going to see the change and um, yeah it is really really important 13 take care of yourself and take care of your parents you know as you are also growing old your parents are also growing old so yeah take care of them if you're staying away from them just call them and ask uh, how they are doing once in a while and sometimes also um, express how much you love them because uh, you know i have grown up in a family where uh, we don't usually say that i love you or you know i'll be missing you or i miss you mm-hmm. uh, we don't express like that uh, but um, it's our generation or it's me um, you know i have learned uh, that expressing these kind of things are also important in a relationship and it uh, it's like parents relate like you know mother father and daughter relationship or you know boyfriend girlfriend relationship whatever it's just um, it's sometimes very good to uh, share that express yourself and say that okay i love you i miss you it just um, makes them uh, feel that okay you care for them so it's important i feel 14 keep learning there is no age to learn new things right so if you learn new things you will just grow and you will just evolve as a person i feel and uh, like you can learn new music new language music dance art um there are so many things swimming there are life skills like swimming and uh, driving like i started uh, learning how to drive recently so it's like really really nice 15 it is okay to not show up everywhere it is okay to take a break it is okay to not show up at a party or an event or whatever it's okay just go sleep or take rest or read a book or watch a movie just you do you <laughs> 16 key boundaries you know setting boundaries is a thing you need to do that you need to set boundaries at workplace in your relationship so it has to be done by you so you need to set a boundary you need to draw that line because nobody is going to do that for you yeah it's a lesson in 2023 and i have learned that very important doing you know keeping that work life balance it is not going to happen in your 30s suddenly you have to set that boundary to make it happen 17 trips are very important you know taking breaks and going on a trip for one day two day weekend getaways it's just a mind refreshing thing it just helps you to refresh your life i feel you know uh, whenever i go on a trip it just makes me as a person uh realize so many things uh from a trip uh, and uh, it can be a very short trip it can be a work trip whatever it is it's just a break from my mundane routine or my room whatever like my daily life it's a break and i can refresh and just start afresh like that 18 very important save up and invest you know in your 20s if you're not forcefully saving things you will never have that you know you will never uh, develop their habit of saving up and uh, it's very important i have seen that in my family so i have learned that early in life and you know forcefully start maybe a ppf account or uh, don't you don't need to always uh, invest in sips in the beginning just start with small things like um, recurring account or maybe a ppf just start like that but you need to save up guys start saving 19 meet new people and chill you need to meet new people in your life it is going to change your new per- you know your perspectives you're going to have new point of views and it is so 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 important um it will help you to grow definitely it will help you to grow just make new connections 20 your thoughts always manifest so whatever you are thinking subconsciously consciously is going to manifest so yeah pay attention to your thoughts words and actions 21 reach out reaching out to people whenever you feel stuck you feel lonely you feel i am miserable whatever if you feel you are stuck or you don't know what to do next reach out reach out to your immediate friends reach out to your family reach out to a therapist whatever whatever will help you to come out of that feeling of getting stuck lonely um or horrible just take that step taking that one step is very very important 22 cry if you want to cry it is absolutely fine to cry in the middle of a conversation as well just cry your heart out you have the right to express your emotions it's absolutely fine you know i always got teased for crying in every conversation um you know people call me cry baby etc etc but i'm 
fine with it at least i can express my emotions and uh, i can cry and feel better because after crying i just feel better i cannot keep those emotions inside me and feel a horrible person and uh, whenever i cry i feel better so i'll always keep crying uh, if you have a problem stay away from me <laughs> 23 do not focus on explaining people what you mean if they don't understand you leave you whenever you keep explaining explaining yourself it if they are if they don't understand they will never understand and if they understand you they will understand you at some point so you know repeatedly explain yourself will never help the other person understand you better so yeah it's a lesson i've learned 24 you are your best friend trust me when i say that nobody will understand you the way you understand yourself so yeah you are your best friend and if you're not your best friend yet try to make friendship with your inner self it's gonna help you 25 very important healing your inner self is very very important you know breaking that you know generational trauma is so important if your mom said you something that has traumatized you try to heal yourself and don't repeat that so yeah i think uh, it's very important to heal your inner child heal your inner self just heal yourself start the journey today if you haven't already and the bonus that the 26th one for my 26th birthday is um, that external validation is a thing. I know we keep seeking validation from others, you know, from your colleagues, from your parents, from your sister, friends, whatever. But validating yourself is very important. And if you feel that you are good enough, you're good enough. So don't have to wait for others' appreciations, others' validations. First, validate yourself. Then if people are validating you, good enough. Then it's great. It's a bonus. But Validating yourself is very important. So internal validation matters. And that's all. I think I've given lots of gyan and lots of learnings. Um, I feel I wanted to share this uh, with my YouTube fam, uh, with everybody rather, uh, whoever is watching. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. But um, you know, these 25 lessons or 26 lessons, I feel it is... Um, there are so many lessons that you guys have also learned. It's very different from mine, maybe, or you will agree to a few uh, points. Uh, so, yeah, just comment down and let me know your um, lessons. Uh, each one can drop one lesson and I'll be the happiest person to read all your lessons. Maybe I'll have some, um, you know, I'll learn something from you guys as well. So, there will be a takeaway for me. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's December, finally. Um, it's not super cold in Kolkata now, but uh, it's going to be soon. I'm waiting for that day. So yeah thank you so much for watching i hope i can continue this series forever so yeah bye